You know what it's all about at the beer festival. Big ass line, all the beer geeks lining up, ready to go drink them some beer. That's right. We're gonna show this all up on the brew tube. Be back in a bit. Hey there guys, here we go into the brew festival. Cloudy, overcast today, today, but I don't care. I'm going to get my drink on. Got the umbrella, have umbrella, have tasting glass, we'll drink. Let's go, see what's in here. Hey there, Brew 2. Beer number one. We got Heavy Seas, Holy Sheet, Brandy Barrel Aged, Abbey Style Ale. Pretty decent. I'm just going to do quick reviews today. It's got a good Abbey Ale taste, but overall, I think it's a little boozy and still hot. Like most Heavy Seas Barrel Aged beers, it's better to buy them in a bottle and let them sit for about a year in the bottle. So I'm going to give this one a B plus. And by the way, this one is 9% ABV and 38 IBUs. Back to the next one. Hey guys, I'm back. Beer number two, we got the Apricot Reef from Ruddy Duck Brewing. It's down in Solomon's Island, Maryland. And this is a 5% ABV and 26 IBU Apricot Hepa Bitesen. And really tasty fruit and vegetable beer. As you guys know, I'm not usually a fruit and vegetable beer fan, but the, I'm drinking this again for the second time. If you look at last year's video, I gave this an A, and I'm giving it an A again because why? It's a fruit beer that's not overplayed on the fruit. It's got really good balance, and this is a really awesome session beer, one of my favorites I've drank, and I'm going to take care of this now. Cheers, and we'll see you on the next one. Hey there, BrewTube, I'm back. Beer number three, we've got the Ruddy Duck ESB. It's the all Britain ESB. This is a cast version of the beer, and it's been dry hopped with a boatload of Kent Goldie. And man, if you want a British taste in beer, it's this beer, man. It's dank, it's earthy, it's got a big ball backbone to it, and it's an unfiltered beauty. You can tell I'm geeking out on this 5%, 3.58 IBU beer, and I'm going to give this one an A. I'll see you at the next brew. Hey there, guys. I'm back. Here we've got Room and Brewings. We've got their Black Knight Imperial Stout, and it's a cask version that's with honey and molasses. It's pretty decent, but it's way too thin for an Imperial Stout, and it's way too boozy for what it is. I'm going to have to give this one a B-, even though it is only 7.7% .7 ABV and 24 IBUs. It should have a lot more body than it does. It's just so-so. B- for this one. Cheers. Back in a bit.
Alright guys, been in line waiting to get some food. While I'm waiting in line for some food, I've got the Bloodline IPA from Flying Dog Brewery out of Frederick, Maryland. And this beer is a, uh, let me see here, 8% IB, uh, ABV and 75 IBU beer. Really awesome. They age this on um, the rinds of Blood Oranges. Really super tasty, dank IPA. And I give this one an A. Back with an extra view in a minute. American Craft Brewing and it's their high side astronaut beer. And this is a collab with Duflo. This is an alt ale that's aged in their retribution barrels that they which is their bird barrel stout with Duflo. Really tasty brew. It's um, 6.5% ABV and 20 IBUs. Really tasty and the bourbon barrel aging takes the edge off the bite that alt ale often has. I'm giving this one an A. Really great brew. I don't know if you can find it. It's been brewed once on cast. See you at the next review. Hey guys, we're back. We got um, now from Growler's Brewery out of Gaithersburg, Maryland. We have their Doth put in, which is a Saison with, uh, let's see, prunes and fennel. Pretty decent brew. It's 8.5% uh, ABV, and they told me 25 IBUs. Pretty tasty beer. The fennel's kind of dominant. gives a lot of licorice taste to it, and I'd like a little bit more background play with that. So I'm going to give this one an A-, minus, but it's a really tasty brew and pretty well balanced. So we'll see you at the next one. Cheers. Hey there, BrewTube. I'm back. I got a special beer. Duplaw's special beer for this festival is their Colossus. You guys heard of it. 20% ABV, 20 IBUs, American Strong Ale. What does this taste like? It tastes like a Long Island iced tea, but it's a beer. Really fruity, apple-y sort of taste. Um, kind of has some Belgian notes to it also with some spice. Really awesome beer. Super tasty. I'm going to give this one an A. I got two more tokens left. Let's see what we can find. I'll be back. Until the next time, that's a gig.